Welcome to Solid Camp Professor. I'm Sydney, your Solid Camp Professor, and in this session, we'll be showing you the new and improved option that we've made in Solid Camp 2011 of keeping your tool down. I've created a profile operation here, and if we open this up, I've used a geometry of this chain over here, this edge over here, and my second chain over here. Now, we have my technology field where I've gone on the left side, doing a finished cut, stepping down five millimeters each time. Now let's go into our link. We've added these two new fields over here. In the keep tool down area, we've added the option of link between passes, where we can go through the clearance level or through the safety distance. And we also have links between chains. And over there, we also have the same option. Let's just leave it right now at through the clearance level. And let's see what the result is. The result is, and I'll do this one step at a time, is the tool will go down, as we see over here. Then it goes back up to the clearance level, goes down the next five millimeters, goes back up to clearance level, and continues until it goes down. When it finishes these passes here, it goes back up between the two chains to its clearance level and back down and then completes the part the same way it completed on this side. That's the way it was working as a default all the time. What we can do now is let's first work on the passes. We can say on my passes, I only want to go up through the safety distance. If I were to simulate this now, now do this again one step at a time. Let's take a close look of exactly what happens here. You'll see the tool pass goes down five millimeters, then it only goes up two millimeters cross, and it goes back down again. This way, saving time on the part, not having to go up to the clearance level every single time. Now, since it finishes the passes, it now went up to my clearance level, and now it's gonna go across to the other side and do the same on the other side. Now, let's change this link between chains to through safety distance as well. Since there is nothing interfering in between this chain and this chain, we have no problem going directly from one chain to the other. So, let's take a look at our simulation. And as you can see, we're first going down to the safety distance. And now when we finish, we don't go back up to clearance level, we only go up to our safety distance, and then we complete the part. Thank you for joining us on Solid Camp Professor. Take care and have a nice day.